Oh, man. Oh, God. Mm. <coughs> I'll see how you guys do it, man. I just rode to the 7 Eleven. It was like 10 mile ride on my motorcycle. My butt is killing me. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Memphis Mike here. Hey, let's get right to it. The last couple of vids I've put out, uh, we're talking about uh, motorcycle touring. Then I also did a book review of Two Wheeled Riders book, Motorcyclist Guide to Travel. And anyway, I was talking to a fellow motovlogger. One day he messaged me, he said, man, I just did a 200 mile ride today and I'm absolutely wore out. And then I read on some Gold Wing forums. One guy made comment and mission. He said, I don't know how you guys do it. I just did a hundred mile ride and my butt is absolutely killing me. What suggestions do you have? Well, here's what I told my motor vlogger friend who did that ride. And here's what I asked this other gentleman who was complaining after a hundred miles, his rear end was killing him. First of all, I asked the gentleman who did the 100 mile ride, I said, sir, how long have you been riding? His answer was, I just got back into it after 25 years. So I'm gonna make an assumption that he's probably, I'm gonna say at least 50 and up, okay? And I was also talking to my motor vlogger friend as well and I offered him a couple of suggestions and I thought, you know what, this might make a good topic to help somebody else who's trying to learn to ride a little bit longer and get more seat time without absolutely killing himself. What is the solution to being able to work up to, let's just break it down to, let's say 250 miles to 350 miles a day. I'm not even talking about an iron butt, okay, which I have not done. My personal best, 735 miles in one day yes when i got home i was tired was my butt killing me i wouldn't say it was killing me but i was sore that's just a long day period at my age i mean it was a you know it was a good 10 to 12 hour day so that was a long day and maybe even more so i was just tired from the whole day but i offered my motor vlogger friends some suggestions i said if 200 miles is really tough for you there's only one way to get used to it, and that is spend more time in the saddle. Okay, so maybe 200 miles is too much. Let's start with 100 miles. How do we do that? Well, you pick a destination 50 miles away. Let's say you find a restaurant 50 miles away, ride there, eat, turn around, and come back home. Okay, that's 100 miles. Do that for a few weekends. After that, bump it up. Ride 100 miles one way, eat, enjoy yourself, spend a little time, walk around, and then come back home. So then you've done that, that's 200 miles. And then I also said, if it's a Saturday or Sunday, I said, how about duplicate that on Sunday? Do it on Saturday and Sunday. So guess what? You just put 400 miles seat time that you've added. You slowly begin to work up to it. And it's the same thing, you know, nobody starts out running a 26 mile marathon who's never ran before. You start out by walking the first mile. Then you start out by walking and running the first mile. And then you start running the entire way. And then before you know it, you can do a 5K. And then before you know it, you can do a marathon. That's just how it works. I remember when I was trying to learn to ride a little bit long distance on my shadow and trying to toughen that rear end up a little bit. You know, I added a Corbin seat to the bike because the stock seat on my shadow was just absolutely terrible. And a lot of cruisers, the seats, the stock seat is terrible. So I bought the Corbin seat and it helped. Nashville is about 200 miles away from Memphis. So I decided, you know what? There's only one way to do it. Hop on that motorcycle ride straight to nashville this is on i-40 very windy lots of trucks people blowing by you at 70 80 miles an hour i went i ate a hot dog at a place called hot diggity dog when i left there i hung out at the camera shop for a little bit turned around and came home 
So guess what? I just put about 380 to 400 miles seat time. You know, and it begins to increase your mentality of, hey, I can do this. I can do this. It, you have to mentally engage yourself to be able to ride that far. Also, if you're struggling with distance, find you a riding partner. You know, when people begin to exercise or go to the gym, or let's say you just want to try to lose a little bit of weight and you want to start walking, the best thing is find you a buddy. Find the buddy system. Find somebody that wants to do the same thing so it helps encourage you. Because guess what? When you start exercising, you don't start out going to CrossFit classes. Because if you do, you will last about two minutes and then you will die. So it's the same thing for riding your motorcycle as well. You got to work up to it. You know, pick you some destinations around your house. Pick you that 100 mile, pick you that 200 mile or 300 mile round trip. And that's how you begin to work up to it. You know, from my house to Deals Gap is about 375 miles from Memphis. Well, I don't want to have to ride halfway and spend the night and spend the money at a hotel just to get there. If I want to get there, I got to ride. So that's a good solid, you know, seven to eight hour ride for me. But I can do it now. Like I said, 735 miles is about my personal best. That was a whole day of just balls to the wall riding, okay? If it gets to the point where you're still in a position where your rear end's hurting, your seat's hurting, then invest in a custom seat. Spend that money, invest in a custom seat. We are not all at the same level of uh, physical endurance. At 25, you're in usually much better physical endurance than, say, 55. Now, if you're 55 and you can run with a 25-year-old, my hat's off to you. I applaud you. So begin to work up to it. You just got to get that saddle time in to work up to riding long distance. Hey, guys, I hope this helped. Check out my last two videos I put up about touring on the channel. Please hit that subscribe and that like button. And I appreciate you watching and supporting Memphis Mike. And I will see you later.